out here at the gym Pittsburgh literally the gym Pittsburgh attached to a chiropractic service like one of my other past favorite bodybuilding gyms which unfortunately I was not able to join but <laughs> because I did not have the money to do so oh, there's a little fitness supply place around right right across the street yeah so it's always good when the gym is connected to a chiropractic place you want to see what type of footage what type of footage we can get in here I'm a little bit mumbly uh, today's my mom's birthday left the cheesecake factory so i forgot to get footage of the cheesecake factory but we left at a good time so traffic wasn't that bad but it's getting bad now because it's rush hour i'm about an hour from home but luckily luckily i was able to get here before it really got too bad we're on train lake today i may get footage if i can't like i said if i can't it's cool i want to let you know what's going on last monday was the mother's day uh you know bolivia mother's day today is my mom's birthday so it's a lot going on I went in here, they didn't have, they said they don't, the application for the active and fit is in the, like the email, so it's not filled out yet. Active and fit says that they're in their network. I'm not tripping on that, $10 day pass, so. Luckily I had the cash, they do charge $2 if you use a card. It is what it is, but I'm gonna go in here, have a good time to get some stuff that I do wanna try. I wanna act. Man, this life fitness, leg extension felt really good i don't know what line or brand this is from oh well, i know the brand i don't know which line in particular this is from this may be the very first time i've ever used a life fitness leg extension then later on i used the lying leg girl and it was the same thing so this is actually the following uh, Monday, which is why I'm doing legs again. If you saw the Memorial Day slash uh, Mother's Day in Bolivia, we weren't in Bolivia. It, it's Mother's Day in Bolivia on that particular day, so that's why we were um, celebrating that. Maybe that'll be cool. If we could go to Bolivia and do it one year, and I'll show you guys uh, that footage. But then again, I don't know if I'm going to want to show you all the footage. I'll be recording the whole time because I may just do a whole little thing with the trip. I hope they have gyms that are good and functional in Bolivia. <laughs> no, I, I think they may because, you know, tell Tarek and Tamar, they got shows going on all throughout that area and they got competitors. And they do have competitors from Bolivia. This is me showing you the different adjustments, which I believe really help to make this movement so great because it's like the it's like perfect the way it was set up for me it was like perfect this is the kneeling hamstring curl now y'all probably heard y'all probably saw some old footage at 580 barbell me using the standing hamstring curl i like the standing hamstring curl i get nervous on these and my hamstrings start to cramp up because i gotta bend my knee but i like these this is the mts version which is like what motion technology systems or something like that it's hammer strength it's a selectorized hammer strength line it is smooth man smooth like smooth how people talk about nautilus being smooth smooth which makes sense because gary uh gary jones was and is arthur jones son so you know he went off and started hammer strength so of course of course that's why most people that i know that i know that are serious about the high intensity lifestyle they either have medex equipment nautilus equipment or hammer strength equipment or a combination of that of all of those and some of them are old school guys too so they got like the good stuff like the flex levers line and you know all that other stuff but that's t that tends to be what they have mostly so yeah it felt good i'm actually upset that this is not a better gem like it's a, it's a decent gem if i live closer i would go but just because this one singular machine, it felt so smooth. And the thing about a smooth machine, it makes you want to go back for more. All right. But it's just too far away. It's like an hour away from me to get to this gym, which I'm going to be going soon. Like to the same, the same like road to go to a gym. Also an hour away, but it's not hard to get to if that makes sense. Like there's an hour away to where it's really involved and there's an hour away to where it could be kind of therapeutic. So I'm not stressing too hard about that. Sorry, I'm talking and going 
on and on. But see, this is the line hamstring curl. Same thing, felt pretty good. I felt it out with a lot of these before figuring out which weight I wanted to use. When you don't use a certain machine, or it's been a while since you've used certain machines, sometimes there's like a, like a little learning curve, or you have to start a lower weight than you're used to. So that's what I did, felt it out. I did kind of do something to my hamstring. Uh, my one, all right, on the left side, my hamstrings are always giving me issues. Like, I don't know what it is. If it's how I'm walking, how I'm performing movements, but there's always something that feels a little bit off, which is part of the reason why I um, I recently bought a massage gun, okay? So, yeah, I, I hit on that a little bit in that video, which is coming soon. I always say that, but it's coming soon. Now you're probably wondering what happened. Remember, the stiff leg RDLs follow the kneeling hamstring curls, okay? So that's why they're not in this video. I typically don't record those unless there's like nobody over there, nobody in the gym, but there were people there. This is the Nitro, Nautilus Nitro, adductor slash abductor machine. On this, I did superset, I believe. So, yeah. Or maybe I didn't. Hmm. You know what? I may have said something wrong in the other video. I think I super said it in the other video. And in this video, I did straight sets. But I was, you can see, I'm actually still sore. My adductors were still sore from the week before for some reason. But they actually felt fine after I did these sets. Got some blood into them, which sometimes is all you need. And they're good to go. Like, I'm not sore at all right now. And this workout, this session was two days ago. Literally two days ago. So, and I drove an hour home after this. So, I like this machine. Feels good. And, yeah. The one I have, if I had pads like this on the one I had at home, that I have at home, it may be a little bit better. But I'm not tripping on that. And, yes, I do have one of these in the home gym. I need to get back to the home gym series so y'all can learn more about the equipment that I have because I have a good amount. Now, my favorite machine is a squat press now this doesn't really feel like the squat press but it feels pretty good i was happy to use this now originally i was not going to visit this gym on this day i was going to go on thursday which by the way is tomorrow for me recording this however i decided to go this day because i realized it was 20 minutes away from the cheesecake factory i was originally going to go to la fitness because it was right up the street like literally a minute drive up the street. I could have walked there to be real with you. But I decided to go here. And I'm glad I went here on this day because I had a great leg day. This machine felt great. I worked my way up to five plates. More on that later. And then I did the hammer strength leg press, which is right, right next to it. But I would have been disappointed because Thursday's my back day. And I thought the back equipment would be a little bit better. And it's not. So it would have been a long way to go for literally a workout I could do. 15 minutes down the street like really <laughs> not dissing them because if i was over here this jump they, the, the dumbbells go heavy i know they got some competitors here this is actually a decent jump and here mm -hmm. sorry about that here's that leg press i was talking about i've been debating if i should get a leg press and or a hack squat because i don't have one but then i realized i don't really like doing 45 degree leg presses like this like i do them and they feel good but i really don't like them like i don't like laying down and all that but i've been using them. i go through periods of time where i use them and periods of time where i don't use them so i don't think buying one would be a good idea which is why i never did to be honest maybe a pendulum squat i've seen some of those now but i i don't i haven't been doing too much um axial loading either so you know, but that goes back to what I've been saying. Go to the gym, 
whatever you use or don't use at the gym frequently, don't buy it. People buy stuff, they set it up, and they never use it. You do not want to be that guy, all right? Especially because space is a premium. All right, so they had this seated horizontal calf raise machine. So I decided to use that instead of super setting like I normally would on the leg press. Feels pretty good. I'm doing this weird angle because on the MTS shoulder machine next to me, there was a woman on there using it. And so I didn't really want to set my phone down and record. You know, people get weird about recording. Plus, being a guest, I'm also a little bit, um, you know, careful about that too and this is the nautilus nitro abdominal machine i believe i only did like two sets here i've been going easy on these because i cramp up like every time so my legs always cramped up before using the expansion but my abdominals cramp up every time i'm not sure if it's because i don't have enough just like endurance or if it's because just because maybe i'm going too heavy or something i don't know but i cramp up every time and i cramped up after this so i did these a set of wood choppers which i didn't record because obviously i didn't want to get people on camera and i left over the course of this i did use the bathroom a few times wash my hands you know looked in the mirror all that good stuff made sure i was hydrated which i was hydrated which is probably why i was in the bathroom several times so all that to say is I don't know why I keep cramping up when I do. Like, I always cramp up when I do abdominals. Like, always. So, yeah, I need to work that out, though, and solve that issue. All right, we're done. I hope y'all saw the footage. Some stuff I did that I didn't show y'all, you know, after I did the seated. I'm, I'm tripping after i did the standing leg curls i'm gonna hit like always hit the um the dumbbell the, the dumbbell romanian deadlifts the reason why i don't show you all that most of the time is because there's people in the gym and all that like here there were people it wasn't crowded but there were people i don't want to set up even if it's just a rig set up and record standing next to the dumbbells like that's crazy and, something, and i don't want people just walking in there without the opportunity to say they don't want to be involved or know they're on camera or walk around or something because everybody got to use that space i don't want to be a douchebag in that regard but um i misloaded that tough stuff like leg press you saw me on when i kind of look like a squat press i misloaded it so at one point like i went over there to put the place on but twice i didn't so I thought I had five plates on each side at one point. I only had five plates on one side, which is cool because when I finally loaded it properly, whoo, it's a little heavy. But I showed you guys just like certain sets, not top sets or anything, just so y'all can see the the uh, the exercise that I did. Now they have a little chiropractor spot next to this. I actually had to go over there to gain access to the gym. And the dude was back there. I don't really know how it's configured, but he was over there. It's pretty cool when the gym has, they already told you that. It's pretty cool when the gym has a chiropractor attached to it. I think that's proper. I think more gyms should do that if they're able to. Also, whoa, I'm dropping this. Also, the uh, leg extension was great. I like the Lifetime leg extension that they had there. Just the adjustments felt really nice, really smooth. Maybe if I uh, set up a gym one day, I'll try to get that for the gym lying legs hamstring curls some of them are a little bit trash i'm not going to hold you i like pre-cores but I, I like the lifetime also that i just used so that was cool the mts line from hammer strength everything smooth period so that was great everything i used from that but that's pretty much it i even showed y'all the um calf raise that i used they had i used some nautilus machines again today the ab crunch the abductor adductor i superseted those i didn't show you the the ad the abduction because i figured y'all could just mentally reverse the movement in your head hopped on a hammer strength um leg press like i pretty much saw most of it i didn't superset because i did the horizontal calf raise so i'm gonna go head home head home uh yeah not sure what this is probably gonna be all part of the same same little video but i'm not sure what all else is going to happen <laughs> um 
I did, since I was talking about it in like the last little section, whatever it was, give myself the retwist. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Holla at y'all next time. How you at? Oh, man. I forgot to say, please comment and subscribe. Also, check the links in the description. I never say that, so very few people do. However, if you're looking for some home gym equipment, definitely got a link down there from the good old uh, Valor Fitness. So, they'll get you right. Should have some stuff also from um, Demos. They got some stuff. I got a code and everything with them. They'll get you right. Get you tight. So, yeah. How you want to act? Oh, and I forgot. Got a, got 10% off with Gem Pen, the real Gem Pen, legit Gem Pen, all Gem Pen products. If you follow that link, so go down there, look at the links in the description, go on that link tree. Like I said, get you right, get you tight. Help me by helping you so we can help each other. Now, for real this time. Hang on that.